Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you do have any scuba diving questions, then pop them down in the comment section underneath this video, and if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, it gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video, but in the meantime, I and the scuba diving magazine community as well, uh, do answer in the comment section as well, so you do get an answer sooner rather than later, and you don't have to wait for the video to go out. Uh, today I'm answering a question from P. Ang about why wetsuits are black. So P. Ang says, Hi Mark, why are wetsuits mostly black? Why don't manufacturers produce more colourful designs? It would be so much easier to tell divers apart underwater if everyone is wearing different coloured wetsuits. Are there advantages for wetsuits being black? Most scuba diving wetsuits are black for a handful of reasons. The biggest reason today is probably going to be that black is the most likely to sell to customers. That's just going to be it, unfortunately. We, we have this every single season. Customers always ask for brighter, funkier wetsuits, so the manufacturers make them only... The black version outsells it six to one. So it makes it really hard for manufacturers and dive centers as well to, to buy in and create all of this stock only for people to only buy, to only buy the black version. The main thing is um, like choosing a color. So I, I like the color blue, go figure. Uh, but what color blue? There are so many different hues of blue. So if I have blue, like say I have blue fins, like these um, fourth element fins behind me, but they're a different color blue to this. Granted, they're like a, a, a turquoise aqua, um, but oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna buy that because it, it doesn't match my fins or it doesn't match my um, uh, my mask. I mean, Tusa, for example, they, they have one of the best ranges, color ranges of uh, like masks and things available. I think they got about four different blues. So now you've got to make a wetsuit range and yeah, that's just for the color blue. What color, what particular hue of blue? Uh, and then, oh, I don't like blue, I like red. Uh, truth, it just makes it really hard for the manufacturers um, to be able to create a design. And then, so the prime example is the, uh, and I actually have one, you can just about see it peeking up here. Um, the um, oh, Xenos, fourth element Xenos wetsuit. They did a, a blue version I forget what they call like royal blue or something and then they did a just just a standard black version as well I loved it as soon as I saw it he's like yep blue that's my jam bum bought it the gray version outsold it yeah six to one easy and uh, and to the point where fourth element discontinued that blue and they only run with the black now it's just black's a really safe color it goes with pretty much everything well yeah it does it goes with any other color um, and y you can't go far wrong with it so it's a very safe choice for both the manufacturers because they only have to produce one wetsuit and yes it comes in black um, and, and yeah it's colors really tricky with just the general market as well because people buying wetsuits yeah, yeah, they'll look at it and they're like, oh, yellow, mm, yellow doesn't match my like pink motif or something. So, um, so they just they buy it based on looks as opposed to the the quality and the features on the uh, on the dry suit, uh, sorry, wetsuit. So, yeah, it is tricky. I'd love it if they if their manufacturers could just produce any color and like funky patterns and stuff. Uh, Aqualung as well, they did it with their Aquaflex. And, um, and they did a, uh, it had blue shoulders on it and then a gray chest. And then I think it just went black for the, uh, for the legs. And then they had the black version as well. And yeah, go figure that the black version sells it because yeah, if blue isn't your thing, then yeah, no, I'm not gonna choose that. I don't like the looks of it. Um, so yeah, they, they do try um, th there are some that do make quite like bright colors. One that I think quite clever, which I don't think is available to the general public, is Mares do a, um, I think they call it an influencer skin, and it's like a, a rash vest that you put over 
your wetsuit um, to just like advertise as it were and yeah you can pick the color because it's a lot cheaper to like choose rash vest material as opposed to actual neoprene per like square meter is much cheaper to make uh, rash vest material compared to neoprene um, so uh, so they went down that route which I think was quite clever don't think is available to the general public but um, but yeah I've definitely seen it in their guides um, another thing is like discoloration so scuba pro i think they still make it or at least they did uh they made a white wetsuit um and everyone in my country here in the uk as soon as we saw it you just went oh that's going to turn green because a lot of our water is green and as soon as you brush up against something it's going to scuff and it's going to show everything if you're diving in the bahamas or something um then yeah great it'll probably stay white for a fair number of dives but elsewhere in the world no, it's going to discolor whereas black it it hides a lot of the dirt and whatever uh, depending on where you're diving so it's a very safe color um so yeah i, I think that's really the uh, the main reason it's it's more the, the aesthetics as far as like history i think it was because the natural rubber that they um uh, that they made neoprene out of originally was like a, a milky white color but it was quite fragile, I believe. So they had to add something called carbon black to, um, uh, to this rubber mixture. And that's why a lot of neoprene is just black in color. And it was yeah, just to make it that, um, uh, that much tougher and a bit more like flexible. So you didn't just rip your suit every time you lifted your arm up. Um, and there's, I have seen like anecdotal evidence of the like additional warmth because black absorbs heat uh, or at least absorbs uh, like the, the heat from the sun so yeah i don't know how much that's going to affect us while scuba diving but yeah i think today looking at everything the main reason why most scuba diving wetsuits are black is because people buy black wetsuits over any other color and it's just a safe option for both the manufacturer the dive center and the diver to have this uh, sort of black wetsuit so um yeah because so many people they want a wetsuit that matches the rest of their equipment and black goes with everything so it's a pretty safe choice yeah that's what i think um personally i think it comes down to that like retail chain side of it that, that might just be my mind because i come from the retail side of uh, of scuba diving uh if you think there are any other reasons by all means pop them down in the comment section below i'd love to hear your thoughts on on why you think wetsuits are black but i think it's mainly down to like retail safety I remember a lot of hesitation over investing in like different colorways for wetsuits because in a lot of cases they just end up just stuck on that rail and then in a couple years time they end up on the sail rack uh, so yeah I think it mainly comes down to what the manufacturer knows is going to sell I'm sure they come up with some really funky designs that we never actually see because yeah, uh, all you have to do is look at the um, uh, the rash vest ranges compared to neoprene. Rash vests, you get some really funky designs on rash vests nowadays because the material is so much cheaper to um, to manufacture. And if it doesn't sell as well, it's not as much of a, a loss for the manufacturer or the dive center to invest in those kind of styles. So yeah, I, I think a lot of it comes down to just like retail security so that they know that if they do pull the pin, they do manufacture 7,000 of these wetsuits in all the different sizes in that one particular colorway. They know they're all gonna sell. Um, yeah, I think that's really what it comes down to. But any other suggestions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video, along with any questions that you might have. If you do have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use the Ask Mark hashtag. That filters it to one side for me to see, and then I'll reply to you and uh, film a video as soon as i can otherwise yeah like share subscribe to the scuba diver magazine channel if you haven't already head over to our website scuba thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving